Would you look at that? It is November. November. November is represented by two, read them, two roosters. November. Yes, November. And yet, I am going to present to you my October wrap up. All the books I read in October. So behind. Hi. The first book I read in October was one that I've been I definitely wanted to read because the first one was so good. And that is the last book of I don't know the series is called. Well, the first book was Dara the Pirate King. This one here is the sequel slash last, last book um, called Daughter of the Siren, Siren Queen by Trisha Leventhaler. Leventhaler. She swims underwater like a mermaid, but not a mermaid, a siren. And my notes were sequel, wanted to read like the first one, which I already told you, but in case you weren't listening. Um, this was just as good, and it's a fun pirate goodness. And I'm sad that it was only a duology. Only two books, read them, two books. That made me sad. And if she writes anything else, which I think she always probably already has, I would like to read it read more from her because I liked it. I liked it. And look what we have on the inside. If I can show it. I'm so talented. Look, it's a map. That was a cell phone. Look, it's a map. 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 Who doesn't love a good map? I know I do. Let me just fold that back up. If I can, I'm so talented. Look at that, I did it. Next book I read was also in a series, and it's a series that I've been reading for way too long. Just way too long, and that's the Series of Unfortunate Events series by Lemony Snicket. I read number 12. I also read number 13, but we'll get to that later. So I wrote for number 12, I wrote, I'm so close to the end, only one more, because I can count. And it was good, it was fun, it's witty as always, and this one had lots of hotel and concierge fun. And who doesn't love hotel fun? The next book I read was Coraline by Neil Gaiman, because I like the movie, and I like the movie better actually than the book. It had a creepy, like, illustration type things in it which I can't show you because I don't have the book but you can google it. So that was cool and also it had like creepy and buttons and rats and a cat and all are all good things. And the next books books uh, I read were also a series. Look at me getting all these series finished finally. Um, that was the Mad Man's Daughter series by Megan Shepard. This was a trilogy and I finished it, I just said all that. Um, this was a, the first one is a retelling of The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells, which is on my to be read list. Who knows when I get to it? But that was cool. Retellings are cool, I guess. Do I like retellings? I don't know, I think so. Um, I liked it, it was historical. Historical is always way up here in my books. The cover was pretty. I don't know why I'm saying that because I don't have it, but you can Google it. Um, I like the writing style a lot. It's like it was very easy to get through, very flowy. It was dark and creepy. The good kind of creepy I wrote. I don't know what I meant by that. Um, it was very plot twisty. Like, yeah, like plot twist after plot twist after plot twist. Very like that. It's very exciting that way. The second book was a retelling of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which the movies there were amazing. That book. Eh, yeah. And then the third book in the series was a retelling of Frankenstein, which I liked 
I like the real one and you know I like that one too. Hello doggy. Um next book I read was actually a play, you know, like the theater. It was The Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams. Very um dramatic I wrote. The play, whatever. Drama, yay. Um it had like cool like little information things at the end. It had like short stories and had like more plays. Uh, had poems at the end too. Uh, yeah. The next book I was Phantom of the Opera is here, is here, or is it is now? I don't know. By Gaston Leroux. <laughs> this was like a reread. Did I say that? Yeah, never mind. It was a reread. And I like the I like the movie better. I don't know. I found it like not very interesting like i mean it's like a spooky opera ballet france capes underground water slash layer and all that stuff and it was bo like some kind of boring and i don't know why i don't know what he's doing okay um and the other is this the last one i would yeah so the last book i read in uh, october because we're, yeah october was the end by lemony snicket which is the last book in the series of unfortunate been series of blah. It's a mouthful. So I wrote finally the end. I finally got to the end of the end of the end of the end. It's appropriately titled, obviously. But I have to say, <laughs> what happened to the children? What was VFD Gur? I wrote Gur because they didn't explain anything. Let me think it did not explain anything. Like nothing was explained. Like what happened to all these people? What happened to them? But on a side note, the Netflix show of this series is really good. Really, really good. I can't wait for season three, is it? Sure, whatever. Then I'll be over, so I, maybe I can't wait. But it's really good. NPH is fantastic as Count Olaf. I don't think I've ever called him that before, <laughs> but whatever. I mean, Jim Carrey is fantastic too. You can't, they're both, they're both fantastic. So those were all my October books. I think that was six or something like that. I don't know. You can count them. <laughs> Anyways, I'll put them in the description and that'll make it easier to count, whatever. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's it for this video. See you next time. Woo!